A magical glow was coming from the top of the big foot mirror. Look, Trusty, she whispered. The girl leaned forward to have a closer look, and the light grew brighter. Then they saw the tips of two delicate wings and a tiny pair of eyes peep at them over the top of the mirror. It was Fatima, the face-painting fairy. Feeling excited, Rachel and Trusty hurried around the to the hidden space behind the double-sided mirrors. The little fairy was waiting for them there. Fatima was wearing a jumpsuit as dark as blue, as dark blue as the light sky, as a night sky, and sprinkled with golden stars. Her sandals were golden too, and her long overshirt glimmered with flecks of silver thread. Even her wings were tinged with gold. Fatima cried, "Trusty, I'm so glad you're here. Something is wrong with the fun face, face painter. We just seen a boy who was painted to look exactly like Jack Frost." Fatima nodded, comb- combing her hair, her fingers through her tousled brown hair. Jack Frost has still got my magical mirror key ring," she said. Without it, face painting all over the human and fairy worlds is going wrong. There is nothing I can do to put it right. We are ready to help you get your key ring back," said Rachel at once. We were able to help Ray find hers, and the more of us that are searching for it, the better chance we have of finding it. Thank you," said Fatima, giving them a wide, warm smile. I just don't know where to start looking. Let's begin at the face painting stall," said Trusty. "It sounds as if something strange is going on there." Fatima darted into Rachel's pocket, and the girls hurried off, looking for the face painting stall. "It must be this way," said Rachel, pointing along the path between the dodgems and the Ferris wheel. "That boy was coming from this direction." Walking quickly, the girls weaved their way among the slow-moving crowds. Their eyes skimmed over the colorful, noisy stalls offering games, food, and rides. The school playing field was ringing with laughter and happy voices. But Rachel and Trusty could think only about Jack Frost and what he was doing to face to face painting all over the world. Look up ahead," said Trusty, pointing to two blonde girls in the bustling crowd. "Isn't that Matilda and Georgia?" The girls quickened their pace, almost running now. They reached out to touch their new friends, and the sisters turned around. Shocked, Rachel and Trusty looked, took a step back. Both girls looked just like Jack Frost. "Don't say anything," Matilda said with a groan. We know our face paint looks awful. Can you believe it? I asked to be a flower, and Georgia wanted to be a butterfly. So how come we ended up with blue face paints and spiky beards? It's the worst face paint I've ever had," said Georgia. "I don't know why our parents hired a new face painter. Patrice has always done the fun face face painting, and she is brilliant." I cannot understand it. Rachel and Trusty exchanged a worried glance. A new face painter. Things were quickly getting worse. Where is the face painting stall? Rachel asked. Oh my goodness! You're not going to get your face faces painted, are you? Matilda asked. We just want to see everything at the fun fair," said Trusty. I'm not sure this is worth it. Worth seeing," said Georgia with a rueful laugh. "I think the new face painter is only interested in painting one style. He's over there," said Matilda, pointing across the playing field. "Why don't you come with us?" said Rachel. "You could ask for your money back." "We already tried," said Georgia with a sigh. "He said no. We are going to see our parents now." Maybe they'll be able to stop this new face painter. See you later. The sisters hurried away, and Rachel and Trusty turned to walk towards the face painting stall. Matilda and George's parents won't be able to put this right," said Trusty. 
It's a magical problem and it needs a magical solution.